Polish orthography is the system of writing the Polish language. The language is written using the Polish alphabet, which derives from the Latin alphabet, but includes some additional letters with diacritics. The orthography is mostly phonetic, or rather phonemic, the written letters or combinations of them correspond in a consistent manner to the sounds, or rather the phonemes, of spoken Polish. For detailed information about the system of phonemes, see Polish phonology. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Polish alphabet. The diacritics used in the Polish alphabet are the kreska, graphically similar to the acute accent in the letters C, N, O, S, Z, the kreska yukosna stroke in the letter L, the kropka overdo in the letter Z, and the ogonic little tail in the letters A, E. There are 32 letters in the Polish alphabet, 9 vowels and 23 consonants. The letters Q named Ku, V named Fau or rarely we, and X named Iks do not belong to the Polish alphabet, but are used in some foreign words and commercial names. In loanwords they are often replaced by Kw, W, and Ks or Gz, respectively as in Kwarc, quartz, Waranda, Veranda, Extra. Extra. Exosphera. Exosphere. When giving the spelling of words, certain letters may be said in more emphatic ways to distinguish them from other identically pronounced characters. For example, H may be referred to as Samo H. H alone. To distinguish it from CH. -E -ha. The letter Z may be called Z or Z E T. Z Kropka. Z with a dot. To distinguish it from R Z. Or Z -E -T. The letter U may be called U Otwarte, open U, a reference to its graphical form, or U Zweikel, regular U, to distinguish it from O, which is sometimes called O Zamniate, closed O, O Kreskowain or O Z Kreska, O with a stroke accent, alternatively O Kreskowain or O Z Kreska, O with a stroke accent. Note that unlike in languages such as French, Polish letters with diacritics are treated as fully independent letters in alphabetical ordering. For example, bike comes after by C. The diacritic letters also have their own sections in dictionaries. Words beginning with C are not usually listed under C. However, there are no regular words that begin with A, E or N. Topic: <laughs> Digraphs Polish additionally uses the digraphs ch, cz, dz, ds, ds, rz, and sz. Combinations of certain consonants with the letter i before a vowel can be considered digraphs, c as a positional variant of c, c as a positional variant of s, z as a positional variant of z, and ni as a positional variant of n but see a special remark on ni below, and there is also one trigraph dzi as a positional variant of ds. These are not given any special treatment in alphabetical ordering. For example, ch is treated simply as c followed by h, and not as a single letter as in Czech or Slovak e.g. choinus has only first letter capitalized and will be sorted before Sibina. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling rules Carat 1 C below for rules regarding spelling of alveolo-palatal consonants. Squared H may be glottal in a small number of dialects. Cubed rarely, RZ isn't a digraph and represents two separate sounds in various forms of the verb zamarzik, to freeze, in various forms of the verb mirzik, to disgust, in the place name mirzasichel. In borrowings, for example Erzik from German Ersatz, Tarzan. Topic: <inaudible> Voicing and devoicing. Voiced consonant letters frequently come to represent voiceless sounds as shown in the above tables. This is due to the neutralization that occurs at the end of words and in certain consonant clusters, for example, the b in club, club is pronounced like a p, and the rz in prze sounds like sz. Less frequently, voiceless consonant letters can represent voiced sounds, for example, the k in taxi, also, is pronounced like a g. The conditions for this neutralization are described under voicing and devoicing in the article on Polish phonology.
Topic: <laughs> Palatal and palatalized consonants. The spelling rule for the alveolo-palatal sounds t, d, and is as follows, before the vowel I the plain letters S Z C D Z N are used, before other vowels the combinations C Z C D Z I N are used, when not followed by a vowel the diacritic forms Z C Ds are used. For example, the S in Siwi, gray-haired, the C in Siarka, sulfur, and the in Shvente, holy, all represent the sound. Special attention should be paid to N before I plus a vowel. In words of foreign origin the I causes the palatalization of the preceding consonant N to and it is pronounced as J. This situation occurs when the corresponding genitive form ends in ni, pronounced as G, not with ni, pronounced as I, which is a situation typical to the words of Polish origin. For examples, see the table in the next section. Similar principles apply to the palatalized consonants K, and X, except that these can only occur before vowels. The spellings are thus kg c h before i and kg c high otherwise. For example, the k in kim whom inst r and the k in kiti both represent k. Topic: <laughs> Other issues with i and j. Except in the cases mentioned in the previous paragraph, the letter I if followed by another vowel in the same word usually represents J, but it also has the palatalizing effect on the previous consonant. For example, pies dog is pronounced PJs. Some words with N before I plus a vowel also follow this pattern see below. In fact I is the usual spelling of J, between a preceding consonant and a following vowel. The letter J normally appears in this position only after C, S and Z if the palatalization effect described above has to be avoided as in pressure, pressure, asja, asia, lecture, lesson, and the common suffixes CJA, tion, ZJA, scion, stasia, station, wisja, vision. The letter J after consonants is also used in concatenation of two words if the second word in the pair starts with J, e.g. WJAZD. Entrance originates from W plus jazzed a. The pronunciation of the sequence WJA in WJAZD is the same as the pronunciation of WIA in Weadro. Bucket. The ending e which appears in the inflected forms of some nouns of foreign origin, which have ia in the nominative case always after g, k, l, and r, sometimes after m, n, and other consonants, is pronounced as g, with the palatalization of the preceding consonant. For example, dalii genitive of dalia, dalia, bulgari genitive of bulgaria, bulgaria, kemi genitive of kemia, chemistry, religii genitive of religia, religion. Amphibi genitive of amphibia, amphibia. The common pronunciation is I. This is why children commonly misspell and write I in the inflected forms as army, Danny or hypercorrectly write zimi instead of zimi. Words of Polish origin do not have the ending E but simple I, e.g. zimi, genitive of zimia. In some rare cases, however, when the consonant in case is preceded by another consonant, e may be pronounced as i, but the preceding consonant is still palatalized, for example, angli genitive etc. of anglia, England, is pronounced anal i. The spelling angli, very frequently met with on the internet, is simply an error in orthography, caused by this pronunciation. A special situation applies to n, it has the full palatalization to before e which is pronounced as g and such a situation occurs only when the corresponding nominative form in nia is pronounced as ja, not as a. For example, pay attention to the upper and lower case letters. The ending g, is always pronounced as g. It appears only after c, s and z. Pronunciation of it as a simple, i, is considered a pronunciation error. For example, pres g, genitive etc. of pressure, pressure is pers g posi genitive etc of posja poetry is pizi ra g genitive etc of ratsya reason is rat sji topic <laughs> <laughs> nasal vowels the letters and when followed by plosives and affricates represent an oral vowel followed by a nasal consonant rather than a nasal vowel for example in dab 
oak is pronounced m, and in Texa, rainbow is pronounced n. The nasal assimilates with the following consonant. When followed by l or and in the case of, often at the end of words, these letters are pronounced as just or. Topic: <laughs> Homophonic spellings. Apart from the cases in the sections above, there are three sounds in Polish that can be spelt in two different ways, depending on the word. Those result from historical sound changes. The correct spelling can often be deduced from the spelling of other morphological forms of the word or cognates in Polish or in other Slavic languages. X can be spelt either H or CH. H only occurs in loanwords, however, many of them have been nativized and are not perceived as loanwords. H is used. When cognate words have the letter G, or Z, e.g. Wahadlo, Waga Dru, Druzhina Blai, Blazin When the same letter is used in the language from which the word was borrowed, e.g. Greek prefixes hecto, hetero, homo, hypo, hipper, hydro, also honor, historia, herbata, etc. Ch is used in all native words, e.g. chiba, crust, krepak, chowats, chiak, when the same digraph is used in the language from which the word was borrowed, e.g. chor, echo, charakter, chronologia, etc. U, can be spelt U or O acute, the spelling O acute indicates that the sound developed from the historical long, O. U is used usually at the beginning of a word except for osemka, osmi, au, auchesni, audzi, always at the end of a word. In the endings uch, ucha, uchna, uchni, uga, ula, ulec, ulek, alenka, ulka, ulo, un, anik, uni, unia, unio, ur, us, usi, usinke, usia, ushik, uszka, uszko, us, utki. O acute is used. When cognate words or other morphological forms have the letter o, e or a, e.g., moroz, morozu, Wyozel Wiesek Skrasik Skrakak In the endings au, auka, ona except for zasuka, skuka, wsuwka can be spelt either or rz, the spelling rz indicates that the sound developed from r, cf. Czech is used when cognate words or other morphological forms have the letter, digraph g, d z, h, z, s, e, g mos, mog Masiezny, Mojids, Druzhina, Dru, Kays, Kazak, Woz, Woznika, Blize, Bliska, in the particle Z, e.g. Skodze, Tens, Taxi, after L, R, e.g. Laze, Lays, Erzisko, in loanwords, especially from French, e.g. Rewans, Zakit, Garaz, when cognates in other Slavic languages contain the sound or e.g. zara, Russian zaravel, rz is used. When cognate words or other morphological forms have the letter r, e.g. mors, morsky, kars, kara, usually after p, b, t, d, k, g, ch, j, w, e.g. przygoda, brzeg, trzy, drzwo. Kurzwi, Kurzwa, Kurzest, Yurzek, Wurzech. When cognates in other Slavic languages contain the sound r or r, e.g., r zeka, Russian reka. Topic: Other points. The letter U represents, within the digraphs O and EU in loanwords, for example Ator, Europa, but not in native words, like Naka, pronounced na -u, ka. There are certain clusters where a written consonant would not normally be pronounced. For example, the in the words Mogul, could, and Jilko, apple, is omitted in ordinary speech. Topic. Capitalization. Names are generally capitalized in Polish as in English. Polish does not capitalize the months and days of the week, nor adjectives and other forms derived from proper nouns for example, Angielski, English. 
Titles such as Pan, Mr. Pani, Mrs. Per Mega Second, Lacars, Doctor, etc., and their abbreviations are not capitalized, except in written polite address. Second person pronouns are traditionally capitalized in formal writing, e.g., letters or official emails, so may be other words used to refer to someone directly in a formal setting, like Chitelnik, reader, in newspapers or books. Third person pronouns are capitalized to show reverence, most often in a sacred context. Punctuation Polish punctuation is similar to that of English. However, there are more rigid rules concerning use of commas. Subordinate clauses are almost always marked off with a comma, while it is normally considered incorrect to use a comma before a coordinating conjunction with the meaning and I or or as. Abbreviations but not acronyms or initialisms are followed by a period when they end with a letter other than the one which ends the full word. For example, doctor has no period when it stands for doctor, but takes one when it stands for an inflected form such as doctora and professor has period because it comes from professor, professor. Apostrophes are used to mark the elision of the final sound of foreign words not pronounced before Polish inflectional endings, as in Harriego XAR, genitive of Harry czar, the final is elided in the genitive. However, it is often erroneously used to separate a loanword stem from any inflectional ending, for example, asterisk jana, which should be jona genitive of john, no sound is elided. Quotation marks are used in different ways, either ordinary Polish quotes or French quotes without space for first level, and single Polish quotes or French quotes for second level, which gives three styles of nested quotes. Quote inside quote. Quote inside quote. Quote inside quote. Some older prints have used such Polish quotes. Topic History. Poles adopted the Latin alphabet in the 12th century. However, that alphabet was ill-equipped to represent certain Polish sounds, such as the palatal consonants and nasal vowels. Consequently, Polish spelling in the Middle Ages was highly inconsistent, as different writers used different systems to represent these sounds. For example, in early documents the letter C could signify the sounds now written C, CZ, K, while the letter Z was used for the sounds now written Z, Z, S, Z. Writers soon began to experiment with digraphs, combinations of letters, new letters, phi and no longer used, and eventually diacritics. The Polish alphabet was one of two major forms of Latin-based orthography developed for Slavic languages, the other being Czech orthography, characterized by karens, hotchiks, as in the letter C. The other major Slavic languages which are now written in Latin-based alphabets, Slovak, Slovene, and Serbo-Croatian, use systems similar to the Czech. However a Polish-based orthography is used for Kashubian and usually for Silesian, while the Sorbian languages use elements of both systems. <laughs> Computer encoding There are several different systems for encoding the Polish alphabet for computers. All letters of the Polish alphabet are included in Unicode, and thus Unicode-based encodings such as UTF-8 and UTF-16 can be used. The Polish alphabet is completely included in the basic multilingual plane of Unicode. ISO 8859-2 Latin 2, ISO 8859-13 Latin 7, ISO 8859-16 Latin 10 and Windows 1250 are popular 8-bit encodings that support Polish alphabet. The Polish letters which are not present in the English alphabet use the following HTML character entities and Unicode code points. For other encodings, see the following table. Numbers in the table are hexadecimal. A common test sentence containing all the Polish diacritic letters is the nonsensical Zazelk Gesla Jazon. See also Polish Braille Polish Manual Alphabet Further reading Sadowska, Iwona, 2012. Polish, A Comprehensive Grammar. 
Oxford, New York City, Routledge. ISBN 978-0-415-47541-9.